quick, time, quick, give him time, quick, let quick. him speak. Democrats, let him speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you, wa, 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 Samba, you are the people who are frustrating TGF. You are the people who are dwarfing um, free education. You are the same people who are dwarfing UPND for fucking out Makada. You are the same MPs who are dwarfing my council workers. You, what council does workers, dwarfing you mean? Out. You fail to pay my council workers. And these are now your MPs, your members, we are now accused of these material cases. Now, tell me, you PNC members who have been accusing those are Thank you. Thank Hello. you, Rafidimon. Thank you, Rafidimon. Uh, your message has been uh, received and uh, Honorable will definitely respond. Now, um, I'll give you just one uh, last call, then we uh, we wind up. Oh, too bad we lost that one, but uh, it's 0955 I'll take the last one. Good morning. Zaki, good morning. Morning to you. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Great. Yeah. Uh, my name is Brother Alex. Brother and, uh, Alex, yeah. Good, mo good morning to you, Honorable Santa. Good morning, Brother Alex. I'm glad you called, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm somebody who has a, a soft heart for you. Uh, as for me, you are a good man. Uh, what seems not to work well for you is the PF. The PF themselves, if uh, as somebody who just sits there and uh, watch from afar, I, I, I feel that uh, you are somebody who is loved by people. But the issue is that uh, the, your association with the people, the PF, seems to make your work a bit difficult. Not only now, but I think from the onset of the PF. You have worked so hard for the PF, and very honest and truthful to the PF. Uh, of course, people differ, but uh, I wonder if the PF itself has honestly forgiven you. If uh, the convention was uh, not so selective as, as it is, I'm very sure you would, have, you, you would win this coming election. Now, I want you to tell me, Honorable Santa, how possible is it that you are going to convince your people in the PF to give you a vote for this hot seat? You know, sometimes your association with the PF makes you not to be, I don't know for the, for, for the lack of a better word, please pardon me. Uh, it makes you somehow uh, unreasonable. Unreasonable in the sense that uh, even when we come to the choice of Mac McDonald's, which pays, personally, I, I, I agree that maybe he could be associated with the European But uh, surely, Honorable Sampa, if you sit there on your own and look at uh, the number one critic of the ECZ, who would that be, apart from Donald McDonald Pence? Why can't we say that uh, McDonald Pence is the number one opposer of the ECZ. Now he has been given the mantle. Let's see how he is going to perfect the issues that he's been talking all these years. Why can't we think like that? Yes? Surely if McDonald is taken to the ECZ, do we think that, or we believe that McDonald is going to be the UPND representative? But my concern really is, I want you to be yourself. When you are yourself, Honorable Sam, ah, you are a very good man. You can be the president of this country. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brother Alex. Uh, that, that is our last caller. Uh, let's quickly uh, respond to uh, very few, I think, of the callers here. And then we close. 
Okay, let me start with the most sincere of the callers we have. Act- right. He act- act- actually touched me from his voice, Brother Alex. Right. Uh, he looks like he's a, a priest of some sort. Um, let me start with McDonald. As an individual, um, I've seen some of his write-up, very good, well-researched, all along, and opinion, uh, but it's not him that is in question here. It's the UPND vis-a-vis the promises they made. They said they will not hire their cadres into uh, public institutions, ZESCO, ECZ, and elsewhere, and we are suing, we are seeing them renegating on that and doing exactly what they condemn. That's the gist of that matter. Um, then he says, um, "Be myself. I'm at the best of myself that I've ever been." Uh, as mayor, I wasn't because I was being harassed left, right, and center by cadres, ministers here and there, and I was in a rebellious mode because. People who are supposed to support me were making my life difficult as a mayor. Being uh, deliberately, the town clerk is not buying fuel uh, just so that people can say, why haven't you picked up garbage? And, uh, uh, you know, so everybody, it was me against the world. So sometimes that's why I was not myself then. I'm at the best, I'm at the best part of my life. I'm quite old now. Now I'm. Don't you think you will face the same in this race? I was going to answer him right. now. Um, first of all, uh, like I said, what prompted me to apply, I did a lot of consultation. In 2014, I just woke up and applied. But now before I did it, I consulted all major grassroots officials countrywide in all the 10 provinces and all the districts. Of course, not 100%. Uh, I'm not looking... In democracy, you look for 51, but from my history, I get 70. Uh, and then I've also something different now. I've taken time to consult those at the top level. Uh, there are many, uh, most of them former ministers, and I've interacted with a few. And the ones I believe are key, I can see that uh, they will never not mind if it's me who takes over. Of course, one or two are in denial, and they'll do everything to stop. I mean, they don't like anyone junior to them. They're still in the, uh, that mentality. But let me point out one huge difference between the 2014 convention and the 2023 convention. The 2014, the president of the party had died, Michael Santa, and there was a vacuum. That's why you saw that confusion. The 2023 elections, the president of PF is alive. President Ed Galungu. And I believe uh, he's the guru, he's the father of the party, he's alive, we're so lucky. Um, I believe he will play a big role, and I believe and I know him.